He goes, yay. Well, welcome everybody. And I uh, hope you had a wonderful, merry, merry, merry Christmas. And uh, mm -hmm. we're wishing you also a happy new year. Some of you, this may be the last time I see you this year. So I'll catch you next year. Amen. So happy Sunday morning and happy last Sunday of the year. Amen. Amen. So feliz domingo por la mañana. Uh, we want to welcome you to New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben. Amen. Bienvenidos a la Iglesia Nuevo Comienzo. And we want to welcome all those that are watching by uh, video or uh, listening by audio. Amen. So we want to welcome you. And all we ask you to do is to prepare yourself to receive what God has for you. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. You know what? He always has something for you. Uh -huh. And uh, I can't say that enough because he does have something for you. And you got to be hungry enough to take it. Amen. Uh, we're going to be talking about free will and uh, if you don't take <laughs> it ain't going to happen mm. amen so come on now take amen. it he's got it for you he wants to bless you encourage you change you and he wants to correct you so listen to this we're going to be talking about <laughs> if pastor cries it's okay so just pray for me amen, amen. <laughs> but all to Jesus mm. I surrender mm. or you could say I surrender all to Jesus. Yes. And we want to do this. We're closing out to, uh, 2020 and opening up 2021. Mm -hmm. Amen. A new year coming. But still, let me see how I wrote it here. In the year 2020 and the next year, 2021, and surrender to Him daily. Yes. Yeah. Amen. Not just once in a while, but daily. Amen. So we want to close this year with a excitement with a bang yeah. and open a new year with the bang you know what Amen. the world does you know you see parades you see fireworks going off you know mm -hmm. and uh, we try to make uh, our christian life so dull and so boring mm. you know why it's dull and boring because you make it that way oh, boy. Amen. it shouldn't you know and we've said this so many times but the apostle paul wrote two-thirds of the new testament and he was in prison Yes. And there ain't no parades going on in there. Right. And you know what goes on in prison. Uh -huh. But you know, still, he was sold out to God. Are you sold out to God? Amen. Amen. Close out this year with a bang and open a new year with a bang. Excited for him, you know. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, I'm excited, Pastor. Yeah, well, I can I can see yeah. that you're excited. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you're not acting it. <laughs> you're not speaking it. Right. And I don't see it. Uh be excited for him, Amen. you know. It makes people hungry to want to know, why are you excited? Yeah. Whoa, man, we're going to the club. <laughs> we're going to the parade. Mm -hmm. Didn't you hear? Mm -hmm. Oh, what's going on? Hey, yeah, we get excited about those things. We're going to the game. Hey, it's Sunday. <laughs> we're going to the football game. Mm -hmm. And we're excited. Oh, we're going to church. We ain't going to the club, but we're going to church, okay? So, you know, hey, let's get it over with. Why? Because <laughs> game afterward. Huh? Uh, it's excitement things going on afterwards. Mm -hmm. See, you make those things. Mm -hmm. So why can't you make your time with God exciting? Right. Amen. It's up to you. The Bible says to stir yourself up. Yeah, yeah. Nobody, nobody can stir you up. But you gotta stir yourself up because the world's not gonna do it. The world's gonna slam you. Mm. Amen. You go out into the world and it's gonna have you. Mm -hmm. It's going to chew you and spit you out. Mm -hmm. So you know what? You spend your time with him. Say, Lord, thank you for this year. <laughs> I didn't hit everything, but I'm going to start the new year. Mm -hmm. Amen. I start the new year with you. Amen. And we're going to yes. fulfill. He says you can do all things through Christ. All things. When you have this in your heart mm -hmm. and you have a faith in your step, pep in mm -hmm. your step, you know, everything's going to be cool. We Amen. walk by faith and not by sight. We don't walk by fear. We walk by faith and not by sight. Amen. So we haven't even started yet. <laughs> so listen, leave change. Mm -hmm. Leave a new you. Yes. Listen, I got a word for you. Lord is not finished with you. We haven't even started. Amen. Amen. We haven't even started. New year is coming. A new day is coming. <laughs> The Lord is not finished with you. What are you talking about? Brother so-and-so, sister so-and-so says, <laughs> what I've done, God can't use me anymore. So I'm just going to sit on the sidelines and do nothing. Well, you can do that if you want to. Well, I'm just sitting on the sidelines because uh, I haven't heard anything from God. And he's supposed to tell me what to do. <laughs> 
Well, you're supposed to be busy about the Lord's business. Yes, yeah. Amen. Do something. Amen. Yeah. Do something. Yes, amen. He has great plans for you. He has great plans for you. Not little things. Big things. It doesn't matter if they're little or big. He wants to use you. That's the main mm -hmm. thing. He has great plans for you. And guess what? None of those God's plans has defeat for you. That's it. None of those God's plans for you include fail. Mm -hmm. Amen. You, so we got to see those things. Amen. <laughs> the Bible says you can do all things through him who yeah. strengthens you. Lord, I need your strength. Yeah. You know what Jesus went to when he needed strength? He went to the Father. Yes, he did. Mm -hmm. He set an example from the beginning. First of all, he didn't quit. He didn't give up. When things got tough, he got tougher. Mm -hmm. Amen. He says, Lord, I need your strength. Yeah. I can't do this on my own. I need your strength. You know, he didn't go to the club. He didn't go to his no good friends. No. Okay. He didn't go to somebody that had bigger problems than him. I mean, won't you give me some advice? Yeah. <laughs> well, we're locked up together. Or oh, we're doing this together. No, it's wrong. Amen. So you go to him. He be, And here's another thing is make yourself available. Say this with me. Make, make myself available. Make me available. Yes. Make yourself available in 2021. Make yourself available daily. Because he wants to use you. Do you want to be used? Don't yeah. say you want to be used if you really don't want to be used. Yes. Hey, you know, some of us, we talk real nice mm -hmm. because we know the uh, church lingo. <laughs> we know the things to say when we come to church. All right. <laughs> come on down. All right. <laughs> it's time for a spanking. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we know what to say around church people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we get around with the boys. We get around with the girls. <laughs> and we know how to do that talk, too. Mm -hmm. I thought you went to church. I thought you was a Christian. Mm. Oh, come on now. Yeah. Right. Greater is he that's in me than he that is in the world. Amen. Amen. The world's going to have you, I'm telling you. It's hell out there without Jesus. It is. <laughs> if you haven't found that out, you will. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Woo, praise God. Say this with me. I'm an overcomer. I'm an overcomer. I'm a winner. I'm a winner. I'm a champion. I'm a champion. I'm a champion. For Jesus. for Jesus. Amen. I've told you, you're a warrior for God, not a warrior. Yeah. You know, there's a, a hundreds, thousands of warriors out there on a oh, daily yeah. basis. We don't need to be worried because we know who right. we are and who we are in Him. Uh -huh. We haven't even started, man. Like we can say amen and take up the offering. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> so, anyway, grab your Bibles, grab your sword, soldier of God. And say it like you mean it. Amen. Uh -huh. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do today. I'll be taught the word of God. I'm boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Amen. You know, if you don't have, don't take it yet, Carmen. If you don't have this, write it down somewhere. Yeah. Write it down, you know, in your heart. <laughs> And say this on a daily basis. Yeah. It says, this is my Bible. Yeah. You know, you don't have to walk around with this on a, 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 all the time. You don't have to walk around with your Bible all right. the time. You know, take the Bible in you. Yes. Mm -hmm. You are the walking Bible. You're the closest thing to a Bible some people will ever walk or be That's close it. to. Yeah. Amen. But you know, what's in the Bible? Mm -hmm. What's in the Bible? The Word of God. Yeah. So guess what? You're the walking Bible. So you're going to have to speak it out. And if you don't put nothing in, ain't nothing going to come out. That's it. And you know the enemy is going to try to say, well, you didn't say it right. Mm. So I'm not going to say it because I don't want to be wrong. Mm. Well, that's wrong. Mm. <laughs> say it anyway. Confess the word out of your mouth. Amen. Amen. I Lord, wanted to Lord, quote Lord. this with you, but uh, I will. <laughs> I was going to use it. I mean, we're going to be using it in a few minutes. But the Bible says death and life are in the power uh, of the tongue. Yeah. Can you get this? Can you understand this? Mm -hmm. Death and life are in the power of the words you speak. Words are powerful. Proverbs what? Okay. Proverbs 18, 21. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Words are powerful. You may not think so. Man, I can just spit them out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you know what? Mm -hmm. Also, words are seeds. And those seeds are planted. And they're going to grow. 
And you're going to reap and you're going to grow what you sowed. Mm -hmm. And it's going to come back at you. Mm -hmm. So words are powerful. Jesus spoke this world into existence. Yes, he, did. he says, nothing comes back to me void. Mm -hmm. He says, what I send it to do, it will accomplish. Yes. Mm -hmm. So words are powerful. Yes. So you know what? Maybe this coming year, we need to be more careful of the things we say. Yeah. Well, I just had to speak my mind. I just had to give them some of what I've got. Mm, you know, no, that's wrong, you know, because Jesus could have done the same thing, but he didn't. Amen. <laughs> ah, you still love, Pastor? Amen. <laughs> yeah. This is my Bible. This is the Bible. I am what it says I am. Quit confessing what the world says you are, mm -hmm. that you're not. Mm hmm if he's equipped you, if he's qualified you, you're 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 good enough. Yeah. Not because the world says, because of God says. Yeah. Because the Bible says. <laughs> Whoo, man, mm -hmm. this is this is powerful. I can do what it says I can do. Mm -hmm. The world's gonna tell you you ain't good enough. Mm -hmm. You can't do that. But the Bible says I can. Mm -hmm. So I can do all things through Christ today. I'll be taught the word of God. Well, you know what? That word was for somebody else. It wasn't for me. You know why? Because you were not in the spirit of receiving. Yeah. <laughs> okay? You was, your mind was somewhere else. Mm -hmm. The battlefield of the mind, you know, is so occupied. Mm -hmm. And Satan has it so occupied. You're somewhere else. Mm -hmm. You're here, but really you're at the game. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and that word that was meant for you just went right over you. You missed it. Yeah. What? The pastor said that? God said that? Yeah, he said that. But you know, you missed it because you were way gone somewhere else. Mm -hmm. It says, I, I, I boldly confess, my mind is alert. What do you have to, my mind has to be alert mm -hmm. to receive what God has for me. Mm -hmm. Because your mind can travel. Oh, yeah. And you just, man, I was, pastor was preaching, but I was <laughs> clear across the world somewhere else. You know, yeah, okay. But it says, you have to boldly confess, my mind is alert. I'm yes. going to be alert and I'm going to be focused on what God has to say for me. Amen. 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 My spirit is receptive. Are you, you know, you could say my heart is receptive. Mm -hmm. Well, your heart is your spirit. Receive it in your spirit. Mm -hmm. Amen. So praise God. I'll never be the same. My spirit is receptive and I'll never be the same. I don't want to be the same. I want to change Amen. from glory to glory. I want to change every day. Amen. This is the day the Lord has made. Yeah. And I'm going to receive mm -hmm. on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. Ooh, we haven't even started. Glory. <laughs> Keep going, right. Carmen. <laughs> Here we go. All to Jesus I surrender. Mm -hmm. Those of you that are listening, so those of you that are watching, we just sang that song. All to Jesus I surrender. As a matter of fact, I gave uh, the church a copy and I didn't keep my copy. Somebody bring me my copy. <laughs> <laughs> but it says, and most of you know, can you go to the next one? All to Jesus I surrender, or you could say, I surrender all yeah. to Jesus. Amen. One more coming. Here we go. I surrender all. All to Jesus. I surrender all to him I freely give. I will ever love and trust him in his presence. Daily life. Amen. Yeah. You can't yeah. sing that without choking up. That's live. Live, yes. You, you can't sing you can't sing it without choking up. I surrender all. I surrender all. All to thee. Uh -huh. My blessed Savior. Yeah. I surrender all. Uh -huh. We need to take this, yeah. put it somewhere, and sing it and learn yeah. it. And sing it under him on a daily basis. Amen. Yes. Amen. I surrender all. Yes. All to thee, my blessed Savior, I surrender all. It says all to Jesus, I surrender. Lord, I give myself to thee. Mm -hmm. You gotta give yourself back to him mm -hmm. all the time. You know, Amen. I'm yours. I'm, I'm yours, Lord. Amen. Yes. Praise God. Fill with thy love and thy power. Oh. Let thy blessings pour on me. Mm -hmm. Amen. Ooh, you're a powerful thing. Amen. If you see yourself that way, hey, I can pump myself up and build myself up no. and go impress the world. <laughs> but I can do some spiritual workouts also. Yeah. And go and give the enemy a black eye. Mm -hmm. Remember. He says, submit yourself mm -hmm. to God, resist the, devil, resist the devil, and he'll flee. Yes. Amen. 
So you need to says submit yourself to God, surrender yourself to Him. Amen. We're going to read those scriptures in a few minutes, but I need to submit myself to Him and let the Word of God flow through me. Amen. Yeah. Woo! Praise God. Thank One more, Carmen. There we go. Just a little bit from the last couple of weeks, we talked about <laughs> Philippians 3, chapter 3, verses uh, 12 through 14. It says, not that I have already obtained all of this or have already arrived at my goal, but I press on. Yeah. You have to press on. Remember yeah. we talked about last Sunday, we talked about how many eyes was on there? Mm -hmm. I have to. I, 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 I. I press on to take hold of uh, that for which Christ Jesus took hold of me. 13 brothers and sisters, I do not consider myself yet to have taken hold of it. But one thing I do, forgetting what is behind and straining or pressing towards what is ahead. And then 14 says, I press towards the goal to win the prize for which God has called me. Okay, scratch me, remember? Scratch me and put your name there. He's yeah. called me. Who's called you? Mm -hmm. Jesus. Yeah. But the world's calling you too. You have to decide what master you're going to serve. Amen. You're going to serve God or you're going to serve the world. Mm -hmm. You can't have both. It's hot or cold, mm -hmm. but not lukewarm. Right. Uh -uh. Oh no way, Jose. Mm -hmm. uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> He's called me heavenworth in Christ Jesus. That's the that's the of you. One more. Here we go. I just just a quick review. <laughs> See yourself. Never be a prisoner of your past. Yeah. And what does the enemy do every time he comes to uh -huh. hold it against you? Yeah. Reminds you of your past. Yeah. Reminds you of your shortcomings. Yeah. Okay. What do your friends do? What do your family do? Remind you of your past. Mm -hmm. Says, don't be a prisoner of your past. It was just a lesson, mm -hmm. not a life sentence. Yeah. Hey, it's behind me. You know what? Every time it pops up, just say, I delete that. In Jesus' name. That's not for me. Another one is, we talked about last week, was <laughs> Jesus dropped the charges. Amen. So it's time to give it up. Yes. Amen. Can't use that against me anymore. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> all right. Anyway, so all to Jesus, I surrender. I surrender all to him. Let us surrender to Jesus mm -hmm. on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. Daily. Amen. Not just once a year. Say it's right. Christmas time. So you know, hey, I need to surrender. Mm -hmm. No, on a daily basis, we need to surrender to Him. How? You have a relationship, and you get before Him, and you spend time with Him. Yeah. You know, <laughs> prayer is the best communication you can have. Yeah. And I can pray yeah. and say, Lord, I need your strength. Mm -hmm. Lord, I need you. I need to go out there, and there's giants out there facing me. Mm -hmm. There's giants facing me, but. I know that I can do all things for you, Lord. I need your strength as I walk out that door, Lord. You're going to have somebody there. And I'm going to bless him. I'm going to yes, be a blessing. Yeah. Amen. I'm going to be a blessing. Praise God. Set somebody free. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. Amen. I, I, I've got a scripture here, and I'm going to read it to you. Three translations, okay? And if you want to turn there, it's Matthew chapter 16. Go to Matthew 16, chapter 16, verses 24 and 25. First, I'm going to read it to you from the uh, King James. Are you there? Mm -hmm. So am I. I've got it wrote. <laughs> Matthew si chapter 16, verses 24 and 25. Then Jesus said, excuse me, then said Jesus unto his disciples, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself. Mm. Take up his cross and follow me. Verse 25, for whosoever will save his life shall lose it. And whosoever will lose his life for my sake will find it. Amen? Now that's King James a little tough for new beginners. <laughs> Amen? Now here's the easy version, okay? Easy to read version says, Now Jesus says to his followers, If any of you want to be my followers, you must stop thinking about yourself and what you want. Mm. You must be willing to carry the cross that is given to you for follow for following me. In verse 25, if any of you will try to save the life you have, will lose it. But you who 
give up your life for me will find true life. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Now, <laughs> the third one is the amplifier. Oh mm. my God. <laughs> it's a mile long. It is. <laughs> mile mm. long. The amplifier says, first of all, it starts off with this. Discipleship is costly. Mm. Amen. Guess what? <laughs> it cost Jesus his life yes. to come and be sacrificed. Yes, Do you know, I don't know if you ever thought about this, but Jesus knew when he left heaven yes. and was born of the Virgin Mary, he knew he was going to be sacrificed. Mm -hmm. yes. He could have said no, no, no. <laughs> One day, the, the Father, Father God, mm -hmm. called the Son and said, Son, let's talk. <laughs> I want my people back so only way to get them back is I'm going to have to send you earth <laughs> I'm going to have to send you to be born and be sacrificed mm. and Jesus agreed mm -hmm. so he agreed from the time he was in heaven to the time he was sacrificed mm -hmm. he knew every day yes. what would you do on a daily basis mm -hmm. if you knew you was going to be sacrificed yeah. mm -hmm. <laughs> but Lord I need your strength every day yeah. to go and fulfill what you have called me to do amen Who? so the Amplified says it goes like this 24 then Jesus says to his disciples if anyone mm -hmm. wishes to follow me in parentheses as my disciple he must deny himself in parentheses Set aside selfish interest mm -hmm. and take up his cross, mm -hmm. expressing a willingness to endure whatever may come. Mm -hmm. And follow me, believing in me, conforming to my example and living, and if needed, if need be, suffering or perhaps dying because of faith in me. And verse 25 says, For whoever wishes to save his life in losing his life, in this world for my sake excuse me let me let me go back for whoever wishes to save his life in this world will eventually lose it through death oh boy. amen but whoever loses his life in this world for my sake will find it that is life with me in eternity mm. so if you die in Christ <laughs> mm -hmm. You'll go to heaven and you'll see him in heaven. Yes. But if you die without Christ, it's wrong because you'll lose your life. Right. Amen. So let's remember that. Praise God. Amen. I just wanted to make sure that you got it. Whatever translation was best for you, you take it. Amen. Yeah. But I mean, uh, Amplify really amplifies this, okay? Yeah. So Jesus used two words here it says, any man. That puts the label on eligibility upon each one of us today. Amen. Today. Male, female, old, young, black, white, yellow, brown, <laughs> rich, poor, whatever fits. <laughs> yeah. He was calling everybody. everybody. Amen. So praise God. You know, <laughs> nah, uh, let's not go there. All right. The invitation to follow Jesus is extended to all. Yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. All. God created us all. So <laughs> you gotta get you gotta settle that. So whatever God made you, <laughs> or whatever color you are, or whatever age you are, still God made you. And yes. He made you special and says, uh -huh. I love you. Yeah. Amen. He loves you. And you gotta see yourself that way. Amen. Amen. Woo! Hallelujah. To accept an invitation is up to each one of us personally. Yeah. Amen. But in Romans 10, 9 and 10, it says, let's go there. Mm -hmm. Romans 10, 9 and 10. And you can share this with uh, yeah. family. You can share this with uh, friends. You can share this with your enemies. <laughs> oh, yeah. Amen. And if you're walking in him, you're going to have the privilege of leading somebody to Christ. Amen. So right. praise God. So Romans 10, 9 and 10. Are you there? Yeah, yeah. Romans chapter 10, verses 9 and 10 says what? Uh -huh. If thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God has uh, raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. saved. Amen. 
And verse 10 says, For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Yeah. So you know what? He says if you confess with your mouth, mm -hmm. okay? It didn't say with your mothers, yeah. with your fathers, or your brothers, or your sisters. Yeah. Amen. It says if you confess with your mm -hmm. mouth, okay? So you have to confess it, and you have to receive it yourself. Yes. Amen. You can't do it through somebody else. Amen. So some of us have received him in many ways. I've been, I, I've, I, I, I prayed and loved, uh, set, uh, the salvation uh, prayer many, many ways. Okay. An invitation through TV, an invitation through friends, an invitation through my pastor, an invitation many ways. But still, I confessed it with my mouth. Mm -hmm. My mouth. Amen. So you must do the same thing. Those of you watching, those of you listening. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm sure we all have a testimony. Amen. Amen. A powerful testimony because the Bible says that uh, they overcame by the blood of the Lamb and the word of their testimony. Yes. Oh. So whichever way, whatever way you came yeah. to Him and confessed Him as your Lord and Savior, that's that's fine. Mm -hmm. But as long as you do it and confess it with your mouth, yeah. Amen. With you confessed him as your Lord and Savior. Praise God. And that's Amen. good. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Yeah. The disciples who followed Jesus each had to make his own decision. The 12 apostles each had to throw their nets, leave the tax up, taxable office and their worthy office at their own accord. Uh -huh. Amen. So some of us were doing all kinds of things when God called us. And you know, the, many people says, you know, hey, I found Jesus this way. <laughs> well, that's fine. I'm glad you're saved. Uh -huh. But he was not lost. We were lost. That's right. <laughs> He's never been lost. That's it. <laughs> Praise God. Jesus will not force, listen, Jesus will not force you or I to do anything. Amen. It's got to be your will. Yes. Uh -huh. You have to surrender yourself totally yeah. to him, which is what we're talking about. Uh -huh. We must surrender to him and confess him as Lord and Savior. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So, but he's not going to force himself on you. No. Amen. Uh, I hate to say this. <laughs> I'll say it, but we don't have to. We're supposed to share the word. Uh -huh. And we're supposed to share Jesus to somebody. Mm -hmm. And if they want to then say, I want to confess him as Lord and Savior. Lead, lead them to a confession. Yeah. But you don't have to beat them. No. And right. spend there 24 hours yes, yes. making them try to say something until they say, okay, okay, I'll say it. And force yeah. them to say it. No. Uh. It's got to be their free will. Yes, it is. Amen. Yeah. You sow a seed. Some of us sow, some mm -hmm. of us sow the seed of salvation. Mm -hmm. Others Water. watering. Mm -hmm. And God gives the increase. Yes. Amen. So, some of us may be the first time. Some of us may take a little harder in coming. Amen. But it's going to happen. Yeah. So, praise God. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Lord may equip us with wonderful, excuse me, the Lord may equip us with wonderful talents and gifts. Mm -hmm. And praise God, we're not the same. So, he's gifted us different. He may give us a voice of an angel like me. <laughs> When I say people run away. Amen. 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 <laughs> he may give you the voice of an angel. <laughs> yeah. He gave me some fast feet too. <laughs> so I'll just be right behind you, single, right behind me. <laughs> but we have to make the decision to use it for him. Yeah. Okay? Come on now. Hey, you know what I'm getting at. And he may bestow the ability to preach the gospel, but he will never, but we will never fulfill his calling until we decide to accept the call. Uh -huh. He's giving you a call, but when are you going to accept the call? He's gifted you, but you never used those gifts for me. Mm -hmm. One day he's going to ask you, why didn't you use the gifts for me that I gave you? Well, I was taking care of self. I was taking care of me. You know, some of us, we haven't gotten there somewhere in here it says, but we need to get off the throne and put him on the throne. Yes. Amen. You know, some of us have plans. 
And we've been asking God, bless my plans. Mm. God says, I have plans for you that are already blessed. Mm -hmm. All you need to do is follow my plans for you. Amen. They're already blessed. And they will be fulfilled mm -hmm. if you just be obedient. Yeah. Amen. Woo. I mean, somebody needed to hear that. Come yeah. on now. <laughs> so, till we take up the cross. Keep going. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Bless your heart. Thank you, Carmen. <laughs> till we say, I surrender. Uh huh. You have to say, I surrender, Lord. Yeah. I've been running. <laughs> I've been running. Some of us are good runners. <laughs> Some of us been running forever. You know? Till one day you may be All at right. your one day you may be at your deathbed. Mm. Or you may hit something mm. and you're bedridden. Uh. It wasn't his fault. That's right. right. Amen. But you got yourself there and now Lord I need you. He's, you confess him, he's going to accept you. Yes. Amen. He's going to accept you no, regardless of what you did in life. Mm -hmm. Hey, Lord, I've sinned against you. I repent. I receive you as my Lord and Savior. Somebody needs to hear that. Yes. Mm -hmm. Receive it now. You know, hey, you don't have to wait till the next year because you may not yeah, live yeah. tomorrow. You may not be around tomorrow. That's right. So don't put off tomorrow what you can do right now. That's it. Amen. So praise God. Oh, can we truly say to Jesus, I surrender. I surrender all. Mm -hmm. Not just some of me, <laughs> all of me. Mm -hmm. Amen. You need to come to him and surrender totally. You know what the symbol, I mean, Jesus going to the cross, opening his arms and allowing himself to be crucified. It's a sign of surrender, mm -hmm. but it's also a sign of victory. Yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Thank Amen. You. So. This translation says that Jesus said to his disciple, If anyone would come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. For whoever would save his life would lose it. But whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. Amen. So praise God. Thank you. Go to the next call. Whoa. Um... Back, back one. Is there one back? My mouse. Oh, even mouse. Boom. Huh? <laughs> That's way in front. Okay, there, <laughs> there you go. Take up your cross. Mm -hmm. It's all in the same uh, scriptures here. Yeah. Take up your cross mm -hmm. and follow him. You don't have to do this. <laughs> but <laughs> you take up your cross and follow him. Oh. <laughs> okay, we lost them all. <laughs> So anyway, the next one was uh, supposed to be James 4, 7. Mm -hmm. Well, I, read, I had already given it to you, but James 4, 7. And the King James says what? Submit yourself, therefore, to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Amen? If you don't resist him, guess what? <laughs> he just wants to be your buddy. Yeah. <laughs> and if you give him your buddy a ride... He's going to want to drive. Yeah. Oh, and he's yeah. going to want to drive you. Mm -hmm. And drive you. Amen. Mm -hmm. So remember last week we talked about sin. Yeah. Sin will take you further than you want to go. Keep you longer than you want to stay. Mm -hmm. And cost mm -hmm. you more than you can pay. Mm -hmm. And you know. Jesus has already defeated the sin problem. Jesus has already defeated. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. The enemy. Excuse me. He's defeated the enemy already. And he's given us authority over the enemy. But you have to have enough word in you. And be bold enough to speak the word. And tell him, I resist you in the yeah. name of Jesus. And I yeah. command you to go. The Bible mm -hmm. says he'll flee from you. Mm -hmm. But you got to submit, surrender totally to him. And uh, James 4, 7 in the Amplified says, So submit to the authority of God. Resist the devil. Stand firm against him. And he will flee from you. Uh -huh. Okay? He comes to knocking, but guess what? Right. Oh, it's only you. Yeah. <laughs> I resist you. Mm -hmm. Amen? Awesome. I resist you in the name of Jesus. Amen? And he's got to go. So, we ain't even started our lesson yet. That's all right. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Submit yourself. Thank you, Carter. Submit yourselves therefore to God. Resist the devil. And he will stay. 
<laughs> you know, uh, flee, a translation for flee is not just walk away. <laughs> flee means he's going to do a speedy Gonzalez and he's going to fly away from you, okay? He's going to book. He's going to go. <laughs> I don't want you around. Get it, get, get. <laughs> Amen. So, all to Jesus I surrender. That was awesome. Mm -hmm. Amen. And uh, other hymns of giving ourselves completely to Jesus and trusting Him. But the words we sing sometimes don't reflect the true condition of our heart. Mm -hmm. After all, those are just words. Okay? Sometimes we have to be careful. <laughs> we learn words, but we need to also learn there's power in the words we speak. Yeah. Amen. Hey, you know, hey, I uh, come from a cussing family of champions, you know, and, and uh, but still, I know them all, but I don't speak them. Right. When they come, I put a guard. Yeah. And I stop. Mm -hmm. And I don't say. Amen. So you have control. Put a guard on your mouth. Yes. Yeah. Amen. And you don't have to speak it out. Amen. Just because, hey, I know. <laughs> I think before I speak. And I know what I know what is trying to come out, but it ain't going to come out. Why? Because I resist. Because yeah. I say no. Okay. I know the words. <laughs> I'm in the world also. I'm in the world, but not of the world. <laughs> but I hear them, and I know them, and I can say them, but I choose not to say them. Right. Yeah. Amen. So praise God. I disappointed my family in Memphis. I don't cuss. <laughs> I choose not to cuss. Amen. It don't make me tougher or bigger. No macho. I'm the, a macho. I'm no macho man just because I cuss. <laughs> and this is where Proverbs 18:21 comes in. And that I wrote it on here. It says, "Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and those who love it will eat its fruit." You are going to reap what you sow. Death and life are in the power of the mm -hmm. spoken words that you speak. Yeah. So you're going to reap from it, not somebody else. Wow! I just right. want, I'll give them to him. Mm -hmm. Well, you can give him all you want, but mm -hmm. you're the one that's going to get it. Yeah. <laughs> so be careful and choose your words better. Amen. So you know Jesus. <laughs> Could have said many things, mm -hmm. but he chose not to. That's right. Why aren't you speaking? Why aren't you defending yourself? Why aren't you saying he chose not to? Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. So believers, we're to surrender, and of course, uh, we're we're to surrender all to Jesus. And I said on there, re re read the song, but I already read you the song. So a definition of surrender is this: to give up possession, to give up the throne. <laughs> To give up the throne, your throne of life, and let him sit. Mm -hmm. So we're changing places. Yes. Amen. Some of us don't want to change places. <laughs> we just want to stay on, on the throne. Mm -hmm. So give up possession or power over. To yield to another. Yield to him. Yield to Jesus now. Amen. Before the year is over now. And every day, yield to him. Mm -hmm. To resign oneself. Or dethrone yourself and put him on the throne. Dethrone yourself. I used to be king in my house. Mm -hmm. Now I'm not. Jesus is king of this temple. This temple is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Amen. So praise God. Amen. And here's another thing is on a daily basis, choose your priorities. What's yeah. your priorities? Jesus first. Matthew 6 33 says to make him first. Uh -huh. So we're to make him first. Amen. Let's uh, let's let's go there. Matthew six thirty three. Sometimes, you know what <laughs> Bible stands for? Yeah. Basic instruction before leaving earth. So sometimes we just got to be basic. Yeah. And we got to go and, and find out what the what the word of God says. And sometimes you got to read the scripture. No, I don't want to read that scripture again. I read it a hundred times. Well, that's okay, but you know what? Every time you read it, you get new revelation. Yeah. That means you're maturing. 
And some of us need to really grow up and mature in the things of God. Amen. And in, in, the, in the Word. <laughs> Matthew 6.33. All right. What's Matthew 6.33 says? But seek, ye first but seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. And 34 says what? Take therefore no thought for tomorrow, for tomorrow shall take thought for the things of itself. Sufficient unto the day is evil thereof. Amen. So, praise God. I'm excited all about you. Amen. Choose you choose your priorities daily. Don't let the enemy, don't let anybody tell you what we're doing today. <laughs> What's my priorities today? First of all, your priorities on your spirit side. This is what we're doing spiritually. What's my priorities when I get to work? These are my priorities when I get to work. I'm gonna give myself to do what he's paying me to do yeah. or what they're paying me to do and be faithfully serving uh -huh. where you where you're employed amen and that's your priorities for jesus on a daily basis yeah. and my priorities to my employer and be faithful amen and you know what promotion comes god's going to see to it you've been faithful and you're going to be promoted mm -hmm. amen so we're closing out this year with the main Amen. To open the new year with the bang. I'm excited. I don't know about you. But I'm excited. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for a new a new year. Amen. Some of you I may not see next year. Till next year. So have a happy and prosperous new year. Amen. And uh, number one, we're going to hit number one. And then we're going to close. Maybe number two. It's short. Surrender to Jesus is to easy is to let go and let God. Mm. Amen. If I'm going to surrender to Him, I'm going to dethrone myself and I'm going to let go and let God. Yes, amen. amen. <laughs> Have His way is uh, difficult for people to understand the true surrender and more difficult to persuade one that it is for their own good. Yeah. You know, when we give up, when we give of ourselves, when we give up our plans and take up His plan, all of a sudden, wow, things are much better. Yeah. Why? Because we put our plan aside and mm -hmm. we're following His plan for us. Amen. And things are a whole lot better. Yes. It's easier to speak of letting God have His way than to actually let it happen. Remember, church, we're to be hearers and doers and obey what his word says. Amen. I mean, we can hear it. Some of us just hear. Mm -hmm. <laughs> some of us don't do it so well. <laughs> and some of us don't obey so well. <laughs> but we, we have to be hearers, doers, and obey what his word yes. says. Amen. All those things. Mm -hmm. He says we can do all things. Through Christ who strengthens us. So we just need to submit ourselves to Him and surrender ourselves to Him and do what He's telling us to do. Amen. We make it difficult on ourselves. We make it hard on ourselves. Amen. And number two says, What surrender really means, surrender now means that victory is in your life. <laughs> you can have victory. All we need to do is surrender, receive His plan. And there's victory. Amen. So it's up to us to do this. Are you willing to let go of your life and let God have it? Amen. All? Yeah. You only you can answer that. Mm -hmm. Amen. I can't answer it for you. But you need to surrender, totally surrender, mm -hmm. and make a total commitment to him. I mean, as we end this year, just commit commit yourself to him. Amen. And the new year is coming. Commit yourself to serve Him daily. Yes. Amen. Surrender, yield completely, involves three areas, and we can hit these in the new year. <laughs> to surrender and yield completely involves three areas in your life. Your past, your present, and your future. 
Mm. And you can trust them faithfully yes, on all amen. these. Amen. So praise God. We'll close there. Father, we just thank you for this year as it closes. Father, we just thank you. And we're excited to close it with a bang and open a new and coming year with a bang. Lord. And we trust you totally, Father God. We totally surrender unto you each and every day, Father God, to be use of you, to be available, to be and do what you have called us to do, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. And everybody said, Amen. Amen. So praise God. Those of you that are watching. Those of you that are listening, if you have never accepted Christ as your Lord and Savior, now is the time. Before we close this year, before we close this day, before we close this service, all you have to do is say, Father, I've sinned against you. I repent. I receive you as my Lord and Savior. Make this ending a happy one. Amen. A happy one. Excited one. Amen. So praise God. Thank you, brother. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. And uh, if you need a touch of healing. He says that by Jesus stripes you were healed. Yeah. That's what his word says. Yeah. His word does not lie. So whatever it is you're facing right now, whatever sickness giant you're facing, yeah. Jesus paid it. Yes, he Amen. Yes, he so Amen. just touch that part of your body and say, by Jesus stripes I'm healed. I confess his word. His word doesn't lie. And I receive my healing now yeah. in hey. Jesus' name. And we believe and we stand with you. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Whoo! Praise Lord. God. Bless the food. Bless the head. Well, now you have.